Today, I'm flying Virgin Atlantic upper class from New York's JFK airport to London Heathrow. The upper class check-in desks have been relocated from one end of the terminal to sit alongside the other Virgin check-in desks. I'm travelling with hand luggage only, but the checked baggage allowance was two cases weighing up to 32 kilos each. The hand luggage allowance was two bags. The first could weigh up to 12 kilos, with the combined weight for the two of up to 16 kilos. From check-in, it was just a few short steps to security, where there were long lines. After security, you went down an escalator to the main departure hall. The Virgin Clubhouse was on the A-pier, above gate A5. This was about a five minute walk past hoardings where some renovations were taking place. Let me know what you think of the review. Leave a like, subscribe for future reviews and comment away. The clubhouse was fairly quiet and it was easy to find a seat. I was offered a glass of champagne as I looked through the food menu. There was a good range of hot food and desserts. I opted for the clubhouse chicken burger, which arrived after about five minutes wait. It was lovely and fresh. I finished with a tub of haagen ice cream. Soon it was time to leave the tranquility and good service of the lounge to head to the gate. En route, there was a good view of the aircraft. It was an Airbus A330-300, registration Golf Victor Lima Uniform Victor, called Lady Love. It was 13 years old. The gate was A5, which was directly below the clubhouse. A long queue had formed at the priority boarding lane. Only Group 1 had been called forward, and the queue appeared to be passengers in Groups 2 to 4. So I skipped the line and was invited to board straight away. Upper class was in the front cabin of the aircraft. There were 31 suites in a 111 configuration. Each seat had direct aisle access. I was in seat 10 Alpha. The seat had a width of 20 inches and could recline as a seat by 42 inches. It also flipped forward to form a fully flat bed. On the footstool was an amenity kit. It contained Wren creams and lip balm a bamboo toothbrush and toothpaste, earplugs and a pen, and an eye mask and socks. Beside the seat was a magazine compartment with a set of headphones. There was also a small storage compartment. A power socket was available. There was plenty of room to stretch out. Overhead, there were reading lights and individual air vents. Pre-departure, there was a choice of juice, water, English sparkling wine, or a cocktail. We pushed back about 25 minutes behind schedule as the safety video was played. Hello there. We're delighted to welcome you on board Virgin Atlantic. Thank you for flying with us today. You're no doubt keen to lose yourself in our dazzling world of entertainment, but first we're going to show you a safety film and we'd like you to give it your full attention. We taxied across the airfield from Terminal 4 to take off from runway 22 right. We took off 50 minutes after our scheduled departure time. The flight time to London was scheduled to be 7 hours 15 minutes, but with a shorter expected flight time of 6 hours 30 minutes, we could expect to arrive in London roughly on schedule. The entertainment screen folded out from beside the seat it was an 11.1 inch touchscreen. It had a fair range of movies and TV shows, including some partial box sets. Good quality noise cancelling headphones were provided. There was a USB port below the screen. I settled down to watch a box set, only to discover only the first four episodes of an eight part series were available. Shortly after takeoff, drinks and snacks were offered. I had a second glass of the cocktail. 
Then it was time for the meal service. There was a choice each of starter, main course and dessert. Additional main courses could be pre-ordered online. I started with the peach caprice salad. It was well presented and tasted just as good. There was a choice of warm bread. I opted for olive bread. There was an extensive wine list with Laurent Perrier Champagne and English sparkling wine, a choice of three white wines, three red wines and two rosés. For main course, I pre-ordered the breaded cod with potato wedges. All of the ingredients appeared to be on the plate, just not in the right order, with the breadcrumbs over the potatoes. It was okay as a meal, but I don't think I'd choose it again. For dessert, I opted for the black and white chocolate mousse, which was excellent. All in all, a good starter and dessert and an excellent wine list, just disappointing presentation of the main course. There were two washrooms for the upper class cabin, one at the front and one at the rear of the cabin. They were a standard small aircraft size, but did feature Wren products. There was a changing mat, which I used to change into the sleep suit that was provided. The suit was soft and very comfortable to wear. Back in the cabin, I flipped my seat over into a bed, which had a mattress topper, duvet and pillow. It was fairly comfortable. There was plenty of length, but maybe a little more width would have been better. I got about three and a half hours sleep before breakfast was available. There was a breakfast card which you could fill in before bed. I opted for the cooked breakfast and a bowl of cornflakes. The cooked breakfast was good with light fluffy scrambled eggs. Soon we were preparing for landing. A hot towel was offered to freshen up. We came in to land on runway 27 right, followed by a short taxi to Terminal 3. All in all, this was a good flight. The clubhouse at JFK was tranquil compared to the hustle and bustle of the terminal. The food was very good, with the exception of the presentation of the main course. And the wine list was extensive. Although the seat configuration was old and has been replaced on newer aircraft, it was still comfortable. The service was exceptionally good with a friendly crew who went out of their way to offer a more personalised service. Let me know what you think of the review and the Virgin Atlantic Upper Class service. Comment, like and share. And please do subscribe to Doors to Auto for future reviews.